Hey Aries, this is Maxine Taylor, and I've got your fabulous forecast for April right here. If this is not enough information for you, please check out my website. I've got a spring special you're going to want to take advantage of. Website is MaxineTaylor.com. Now let's talk about you. Well, what a fabulous month. April's going to be for you. First of all, let's start with Mars, the red planet. It's in your 11th house of friends. And wherever Mars is, that's what you throw yourself into. That's what comes first to you. Now, Mars is the planet of action, energy, and uh, on occasion, a little pugilism, uh, warfare. So you may fight with friends or for friends. In the eleventh house, it with with Mars in Aquarius in particular, you may be taking a stand for humanity. These may be the friends you haven't met yet, and so you are taking up for humanity. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now the next planet, as we move around here, is Mercury the blue one, and it's moving through the 12th house, the first house, and the second house. Uh-huh, yeah. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. So in the 12th house, which is our subconscious, um, there's a lot going on perhaps during dreams, but you'll have to wait for it to move out of the 12th house to get the, a handle on it consciously. It is also divine inspiration, and it's sharing ideas privately. Now, on the 11th, Mercury crosses your solar ascendant. It moves into Aries, and look out, you are talking up a storm. Uh, wherever Mercury is, that's what you think about and talk about. It's in your first house of me. And so you're talking about yourself. You're sharing ideas about yourself and you're thinking about you. That's cool. You're gonna get the job done, aren't you? And then on the 27th, Mercury moves into your second house of money. And you're thinking of ways of creating more income. I love it. I love it. Now, the yellow planet is the sun, and the sun is the giver of life, and it just shines a light wherever it goes. It's in your first house, and you're feeling great about yourself. This is a terrific placement for you for now. Yes, so this whole first house, <clears throat> excuse me, is saying, do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. And you may be saying, look, I'm Aries, I always do that. Yeah, but you're gonna do it even more. So, you rock. Then on the uh, 20th, the sun moves into your second house of money. Mercury comes in a, a week later, but wherever the sun shines, that's where it creates life. So, you should be able to create more income for yourself. Now, Venus, the planet of love and money. I've filled in the circle uh, with the with pink because it's a little pink's a little hard to see. I think over the internet, Venus, which rules the natural second house, is it has been in your second house, creating money and gifts and things that you love. And on the third of April, it moves into your third house. And this is you thinking beautiful thoughts. Venus is happiness. Venus is the lesser benefic. There are blessings received from Venus. Love, money, ideas. Are you writing a blog, a book? With Venus there, you're thinking of love. You're thinking positive thoughts. I think it's great. Now, on the seventh, we have a full moon in 18 degrees of Libra. Find 18 degrees of Libra in your own birth chart. 
I'll tell you where, what it's triggering in your solar chart. And of course, the solar chart works hand in hand with a natal chart. The seventh house is the house of partnership and other people. So this full moon balances the I'm doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I want aspects uh, and qualities brought about by the sun and Mercury in your first house. And so you're able to balance what you want with what other people want. But the full moon occurs before Mercury and the sun move into your first house. So let's just say your Mercury and the sun balance the full moon where other people are requiring your attention. And typical Aries, uh, after a while, you just say, look, I got to do my thing. And you know what? You got to do your thing. Now, the new moon two weeks later on April 22nd falls back in that second house of money and income. Uh -huh. And wherever the new moon is, that's where we have a new start. Well, it's not really a new start. It's an, a repeat of what already has been going on. It is terrific. The sun is in your second house. Um, it moves in, as I said, on the 20th, and then Mercury on the 27th. So in the middle of all that, here's the, the new moon saying, here's some more money. Here's some more income to go along with the creation of that and ideas about that. So happy April and May the stars shine brightly on you and yours. <laughs>